not just from a market standpoint, but uh, the economy, world affairs makes you very uncomfortable in these times. But uh, anyway, moving on, real estate stocks are in focus. There's an interesting report from Nirmal Bang that says the residential real estate cycle has now turned favorable. Further, there's a sharp increase in inquiries for commercial real estate as people move back to their workspaces post the Omicron wave. Pavitra Shankar of Brigade Group joins us now to talk about that. Pavitra, good morning and thanks so much for joining us. You know, we were speaking with the management of Prestige yesterday and they told us that there is a big wave in commercial activity right now. There's a big pickup there. Are you noticing the same? And can you give us some numbers mm. on, uh, you know, what the sales, what the volumes within the commercial space could look like? Hi, morning, Sonia, and thanks for having me. Uh, yes, exactly what you said on both the residential and the commercial front, there has been a really good uh, pickup in terms of interest and volumes being done. Um, what we're seeing on the ground in commercial specifically is that there's a lot more RFPs out there. There are a lot of very interested site visits happening. And initially, what used to be for smaller and medium-sized businesses, uh, the RFPs, we're actually seeing them come in for larger-sized businesses as well. Uh, so in our own portfolio, uh, which is around 8.7 million uh, square feet leasable area, we have around 2.4 to be leased. And we're actually seeing very good activity for that. Um, last quarter, we leased about 0.4 million square feet, and we're hoping to close the remaining leasable uh, area over the next four quarters or so. So it's quite, it's very positive out there. Hmm. Uh, <clears throat> no, so, uh, uh, you know, in terms of actual numbers, could you tell us what the, what this translates uh, for Brigade? I mean, as you look into F523? Yeah, that's what I mentioned in terms of the area. Uh, eventually, we would like to see uh, all of this area would sort of uh, result in uh, leasable income of around 720 crores over FY23. So we're hoping to get there as the lease rentals roll in. It really kind of depends on the rent-free periods and the negotiations that happen. So depending on the remaining vacancy and how those leases get structured, we will actually see how that adds to our rental income portfolio. Okay, fair point. Uh uh, uh, Pavitra, uh, good morning. Uh, so, uh, in terms of pricing, uh, what's been the trend? Uh, you know, the, we have s s clearly gone through some kind of price hikes, uh, uh, but with the current sort of uh, scenario, with, the, with, with inflation also hurting uh, and with interest rates also going up, uh, uh, what's the outlook going forward? So, uh, I assume you mean on the residential front. Um, we've actually seen the uh, average realization in our portfolio grow uh, quite consistently over the last couple of years. A lot of it has to do with the kind of product that we're putting out there and which markets uh, we're seeing traction in. Uh, we're focused on Bangalore, Chennai and Hyderabad. So uh, depending on that, the average realization does increase. Uh, today, we stand at about 6,300 rupees a square foot and um, Maybe a year or so ago, it was something like 6,000 or 6,100 or so. Um, so we are actually feeling pretty positive about the direction which pricing will go. Um, customers also are willing to pay uh, a slight increase in prices because they would rather go with a trusted developer. They're actually um, you know, keen on getting the right kind of product that they want, which are also larger size units, uh, which has been a preference post-COVID. And in general, there's quite a cost push uh, pressure as well in terms of pricing. Uh, just in terms of construction costs, there was an increase in about 10% so far. And as we wait and see how this Russia-Ukraine crisis goes along, uh, there will be some pressure on fuel prices as well. So for the short term, we could see some pressure on the cost side. And that is why we um, uh, would need to take up pricing in the future. Okay. Uh, can you give us some numbers in terms of what the growth would look like for the residential business? In the nine months of this fiscal, you saw bookings of around 2,000 crores and volumes of a little over 3 million square feet. By the, end, by the end of the year, what are you looking at and what could the growth be in FY23? So uh, we don't really give uh, guidance since we're just past our uh, financial results and we're going to be closing out the quarter soon. But what I can say is we're hoping to reach uh, last year's numbers. Uh, la uh, we are at around 3.3 million square feet, as you mentioned. Uh, and we're hoping to beat last year's numbers. Um, we had a slight delay in some of our launches due to some local uh, you know, approval uh, constraints uh, that was affecting all uh, developers in Bangalore. 
so we hope to bounce back from that. Some of these launches have got pushed into um, Q1 of next year, but we are very confident that we'll be able to, uh, you know, sell our, ex our current portfolio of ongoing and fairly fresh launches as well as completed inventory. So the goal is to uh, surpass last year's numbers. On the hospitality side, uh, Pavitra, uh, could you tell us what does occupancy in the fourth quarter stand at? Uh, one, uh, I mean, expectations are that because of, uh, you know, bunched up weddings, etc., things are looking uh, quite positive there. We had Prestige, for example, would join us, uh, uh, you know, last and uh, they were sounding pretty, uh, pretty positive as well, saying that it'll be the last to pick up, but it will pick up. What are you seeing? Yeah, uh, we had a very good quarter in Q3. And as you know, the Omicron wave and uh, we had many restrictions uh, in Bangalore, Mysore, Chennai, Kochi, uh, a lot of the, the cities where we basically have our hotel portfolio. Uh, but across all our eight hotels, we've uh, seen very good pickup in the occupancy. Uh, occupancy has actually reached uh, about 90% of pre-COVID levels. So we are at around 65% uh, occupancy. And the ARRs have also slowly been increasing, which is important. Uh, I think everybody was playing a rate game to try and get occupancy up, but now we're actually seeing the ARRs increase as well, which means that overall the demand picture is looking good. Um, so post the restrictions coming off, uh, we are seeing a lot of bookings um, in the hotel space for uh, you know F and B weddings, banquets, and so on. There's a lot of corporate travel seems to be picking up uh, also, but you know the picture will really change once the the restrictions on international travel are lifted. And once we can resume uh, the international uh, flights without the air bubble. So until that happens, I think it will be uh, a little muted. But uh, it's good to see that the, do the domestic demand is actually shoring uh, things up right now. So I think a lot of companies are also using this as a good time to sell their assets, monetize their assets and reduce debt. Uh, you know, when we spoke to Prestige Estates, they actually have monetized a few of their commercial assets. You're also sitting on a debt of around 2,800 crores. Uh, any plans to reduce that? Actually, most of our debt is uh, for is LRD, so it's it's uh, supported by rent yielding assets, and we um, are very comfortable with our debt position. On the residential front, we barely have 300 crores of debt, which we've been paying down over the last couple of years. Uh, so that shows sort of the strength of the residential market and our ability to, um, you know, uh, push out projects without necessarily having to finance them in, in uh, you know, with regular uh, construction financing. So overall, we're okay with uh, what our debt levels are today. Uh, as we continue to lease up the remaining vacancy in our spaces, uh, we have we are pretty comfortable with our debt levels. Uh, there will be some additional capex, some small amount of capex uh, on the commercial side, about 600 crores. So apart from that, uh, you know, we don't really feel the pressure to really monetize anything at this moment. Hmm. Okay, all right, uh, Pavitra, we leave it at that. Thanks a lot for joining us. Uh, that's Thanks. the word coming in from Brigade Enterprise. Demand is definitely picked up, also picked up in the commercial space uh, because people have now resumed office, have moved away from work from home. So now people require office space perhaps. Let's slip into a short break. Up next, we'll connect with David Leonard.